Okay, what is up guys? Today I got a cool video. Um, just using it as a, a means to pass the time because I'm getting ready to install fiber internet here at my house and I already got the router that I was gonna that I was suggested to use so that I can usually take advantage of uh, what one gig of internet speed. Hopefully it says no throttling it says that it's uh, speed guaranteed so we'll see how that works out. But in the meantime, I'm gonna try to test out to see if uh, this bomb gaming router will do any difference to what my setup is already. So I'm thinking of uh, hooking it up with my AT&T hotspot modem and see if I can get any better speeds. But yeah, let's go ahead and get that started. Obviously, I've had a lot going on these days, so I haven't had a chance to do way more videos than I would like to. And uh, any suggestions on anything you guys want to maybe see a review a full setup kind of thing going on i feel like that's what i'm gonna aim for with this channel to do more setups more of the whole when people got questions and other other people just review items online and they just give you their baselines but they don't give you the play by play of how the they're setting things up i feel like people get more out of that so i'm gonna go ahead and try to work my content in that kind of general area thanks let's get this shit started all right here we got the nighthawk pro gaming xr 500 gaming router it's got gaming dashboard geo filters quality of service and the vip client now that's kind of what i was hoping for because i don't have one on me and all i get is ads for freaking vpns vpn express nordic vpn yeah we'll see how good those are but yeah, here we got the optimized for gaming performance is basically a dashboard to see where your internet traffic is going, monitor certain things. Granted, I don't really have to keep track of it. This is mainly for somebody who's got a big ass family and like brothers and sisters, all of them on, have different PlayStations and Xboxes and whatnot. For me, it's just I have a few devices and my parents' cell phones and TVs. They don't use too much bandwidth even with the one I, even with the hotspot that i already have lag isn't that much of an issue it's just downloading games these days seeing as call of duty and uh all those other games are using up like 200 gigs of updates there we go but yeah here's a gaming router uh, probably for uh some thumbnails Nice. All right. Let's take this bad boy out. Wow, it feels a lot lighter than I thought it would. I've owned maybe like two routers and I've ever only actually used them for LAN parties back in the day. So I can't really say I know what to expect. I've always had to deal with sh uh, crappy modems most of my life. I'm not gonna lie though, design wise, it looks pretty awesome. It looks like a stealth plane fighter. Antennas. Let's see. Alright, we got a uh, Wi Fi on and off when uh, the protection for passwords. Internet, uh, see which light lights up for power. Internet, 2 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz. Wi-Fi guess to see if it's on, USB, USB 2, Ethernet 1, 2, 3, and 4. Not bad. At least, I like how it's sleek on the lights. They're not just going to be flashing back here on and off constantly. Oh, I spoke too soon. Got Oh, this is good. This comes off with the LEDs on and off. That's good. I don't want to, in case I have it in the room, I'm um, not sure exactly where I'm going to place it yet once I get the other internet. So we'll see. Um, we got reset button, antenna one, antenna two, on and off. We got the direct current to turn it on and all our extra ethernet ports. We got space for another antenna over here. Your two USBs in case you didn't know where they were gonna go. Not bad. Let's go ahead and make some room here. Let's see what else this bad boy comes with. Got a quick start, just a quick manual, and looks like a sticker with the programming on it. I 
them. I like stickers. I don't really care what they are. <laughs> I like stickers. I have a nice collection over here going on. I like to just slap them on everything. Oh, it's just how to set up your antennas, your passwords and whatnot. Cool. Set that over here. Ooh, and here we have our four antennas. Set those to the side. Ooh, it comes with one cheap ethernet cable. Seems really thin. Almost feels like the dial-up ones. It's been a long time. And a nice, thick, direct current power. Let's see how much volts is it. Output of 12 volts to support our modem. The rest is just packaging. I'm pretty sure I can just toss all this plastic in here. Maybe put the manual to the side. So there's two different types. So setting up just in case without looking, uh, we got antenna one and antenna three labeled. And you'll see that they come in different depths because these holes on these uh, routers is uh, pretty wide. It won't take a genius to solve, but figured I point it out. No, this is antenna one. See, this is why you look at it first. See, I doubt it freaking matters, but I set up antenna two into antenna three. Oh, and guys, while I'm going setting this up, I have uh, the widely known and infamous Chill Cows lo-fi beats to study and chill to in the background. As you guys know, I'm not I don't I don't have a huge following. I don't really care about being demonetized right now. Just as long as I'm helping somebody or having some kind of audience. It's all that matters to me for now. One day when you make it big, then you start caring about revenue and all that, but until then, just make videos out of passion. All right, now we just have to set it up and get it on. All right. All right, got my GoPro. All right, let's go ahead and uh, run a speed test just on the AT&T modem itself. Get some good data out of it. Five, six. Well, right now everybody's on on the internet, Netflix. Everybody's on their cell phones. But I'll run a few, give a good test runs. I'll probably run one more just to be sure. I have uh, that way. I have three set. I did an earlier one. <clears throat> All right, ancestry problems. Tell me about it. <laughs> New. Go ahead and take a screenshot of this. Save as. All right, I'll run one more. But yeah, I don't know um, how much of a difference it's really going to make, but I'm hoping that I can get some further reaches with the new one. Um, I'm actually just waiting for my uh, fiber internet to kick in uh, for that people can come and install it and get it going. 
Hopefully that's sooner than later, but COVID has us all backtracking right now. I talked to one of the guys who works there, a close friend of mine, and says that just in one area alone and part of the our county, they're like 200 jobs behind. Oh wow, look at the upload right now. It's not bad. Ping at 76. Most people would complain about that ping, especially while gaming. But to be honest, I don't really care that much. All right. Then I'll run another one once we have the Nighthawk set up and we'll com com compare our speeds and uploads and all that good stuff all right guys i have everything set up right now i have hooked up my hotspot to my router disconnected all my devices took me like 15 minutes for some reason to get everything started so i'm gonna go ahead and run some speed tests now that everything's wired i got all my shit where I needed to go because there was not enough space I had to find outlets as to where things were going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and run some speed tests, switch over to the GoPro. All right, now that I got this open, let's run a test real quick. I've run a few just to double check that I had everything running correctly. So right now we're back on, Xbox is connected, my parents' TVs are on the network, their cell phones are on the network. And look at that, we got 64 ping. This guess is like what almost a 10 difference um, let's see I guess there's a little bit more inconsistency when it comes to the megabytes that's not bad all right let's check out our upload I mean it sounds like my mom's on Facebook right now she's probably uploading pictures from what she said she was gonna be doing so uploads not it pretty terrible scores to be honest to be online but there's the problems okay oh did I just see something updating home. Oh, it looks like that. No, Apex is the only thing. I swear I saw something up. I gotta be on crack. All right, let's run another one. All right, here we go. Ping's a little bit worse now, 102. Roughly five upload looking pretty terrible right now All right, I'll go ahead and uh, uh, Show you Let's see so I'll go ahead and show you the scores for just AT&T hotspot right here Okay, and I'll show you the Nighthawk scores that I got as of right now. The first two, um, putting them right here. I should, those are without anybody on the network at the moment. And then the following two would be with everything on the network. So obviously you're going to see quite a bit of a um, downgrade on my download and upload. All right. All right, I figured that uh, staring at the computer screen and not actually a face-to-face -face conversation was pretty bad. So, um, yeah, right now, I don't know if you can see this uh, screen right now. That's pretty bad. But I'm getting a 11 download and a 8 upload. The information varies. Um, I can't, like, I could be testing here all day, and the averages varies, um, mainly because there's no inconsistency on hotspot speeds. Um during the day it's like horrible we get 10 megabytes out here um five megabytes for overall usage for everybody so we're seeing 
maybe one megabyte per device I don't even know sometimes I can't load Instagram so that's pretty bad but then again once uh, everybody starts getting off they everybody starts getting off their cell phones and it starts turning into 9 10 12 1 in the in the night um, definitely getting better speeds out here so, so the best speed I've ever gotten out here would be like 60 megabytes a second for download and 25 upload um, that's probably been my best bet but that's generally five in the morning um, four in the morning three in the morning when people aren't really on their cell phones um, but yeah the hopefully the night Nighthawk router picks up the slack for the hotspot so it's not overheating I've had it um, in some RTS games where it just shuts down blue lights everywhere and uh, I have to wait for it to cool down maybe leave it outside in some cases I just to hurry up because I want to get back in the match I'll toss that bitch in the freezer and hopefully it cools down just a bit I'm not leaving it in there for it to freeze but I'll take it out put it back in hopefully the Nighthawk router here um, picks up the slack and helps it divide take up uh, all that bandwidth issues and just have a direct line into it I shut off all the Wi-Fi capabilities on my hotspot so it's just the Ethernet going um, into the router and uh, yeah hopefully it, it works out but like I I've, I've stated previously I would I recommend you guys to go out there and get a $200 router I don't think so um, it's definitely not necessary especially this gaming pro Nighthawk stuff is uh, can run you up for like $299 for something like this I think I got it for $239 from Best Buy and that was a savings deal so yeah I wouldn't I if anything a nice $60 router from Walmart would have been a better bet <laughs> if you wanted to go ahead and budget but like I said I'm getting a fiber internet installed and hopefully it's actually a one gig internet speed and I need a router to do all the heavy lifting so it's not gonna be just for the hotspot otherwise I completely wasted my own money here but yeah as soon as the fiber rolls through um, I can get better results and more testing done with this Nighthawk um, and get more information for you guys if you guys um, I don't know have some troubleshooting or issues with this thing I have yet right out of the box seems like it's working if you read the uh, comments over on Amazon and Best Buy a lot of people had issues with this router um, even some people saying that it drops after just a few days you ha can't connect to it Wi-Fi wise and they're sending it into uh, Netgear to hopefully take care of those issues but a lot of people get uh, their devices returned to them and they're just gonna have the same issues granted I've only ever had other two routers and they both been eight gears so I can't really say that they're gonna be bad because my two previous experiences have been pretty good but fingers crossed I'll let you guys know in the comment section below um, give you guys updates as it goes with this Nighthawk router and uh, I'll let you know how it goes with the fiber connection I'm uh, hoping that gets done sooner rather than later because season Five of Apex just dropped and I'm gonna go jump in that for a whole night that's my main jam right now is Apex 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 so I need that strong connection I don't want no lag I don't want to you guys know. I don't have to tell you guys this but uh, yeah if you guys liked what you saw if you guys are interested in it dro drop a comment down below give me a like a dislike doesn't matter I'm doing this for fun um, but yeah if I can generate some more help out here for you guys that would be awesome which is kind of why I'm doing this um, I've always been on YouTube for uh, I always hop on YouTube check out how to get help for some kind of computing device or whatever and sometimes I don't see videos that I would uh, like to see on there and uh, yeah sometimes it's like a specific issue and it's like oh you know what I'm gonna make that video so this kind of why this channel has been made a little bit um, kind of doing let's plays here just to keep me afloat and doing creative uh, talking to the camera face to face type things and just keep the ball rolling until I can get some more devices in here because all this shit costs money obviously so um, yeah just one thing at a time until I can get this uh, whole YouTube thing down and honestly it's just a passion project whether I blow up or not or whether I get followers or not it's, it is what it is as long as I can help somebody out on YouTube that's the point That that's it and in the meantime I'll get some skills by learning how to edit videos set up audio set up lights have a whole shebang so i can help others but yeah thanks guys see you in the next one